Hey guys, it's Jess and thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna do a little Christmas special and I'm gonna show you all how to burn wood without actually burning wood. So there's a couple ingredients you're gonna need and those are some ammonium chloride and this is the magic ingredient. You're gonna mix one tablespoon of this with a half a cup of water. Now, because this mix actually gets painted on and it's a little bit thin because it's watered down, I purchased this stuff called Thick Enough. Uh, it's actually a food ingredient, but it's okay to mix with the ammonium chloride and it's just gonna thicken up our mixture to make it easier to paint on and it'll stop the bleeding. So this is a must have. I've gone ahead and I've mixed half a cup of water, uh, one tablespoon of the ammonium chloride and about three tablespoons of the thicken up and I have ended up with this jelly substance. It's, as you can tell, it's not really um, a straight up water liquid anymore. It's nice and thick. It's not even coming off the paintbrush. Now you'll need a piece of wood for this project. Also, I'm just using this cutting board I found at the dollar store. Now it's time for your stencil. And I actually made this stencil on my Cricut using an Oracle stencil film. And I'm just going to apply that over my surface. All right, so my stencil is applied to my cutting board and now it's time to apply our mixture and watch the magic happen. So the mixture is applied and now I'm gonna wait for about 30 minutes until I take the stencil off. While well, I was waiting for that to dry, I went ahead and did some cookies. These are perfect for Christmas tree decorations. I'm gonna make a whole other video on those Christmas cookies because they ended up turning out so cute. Great, right, so I waited 30 minutes and to let this all sort of dry and soak into the wood. And now I'm going to remove my stencil and show you the magic. All right, so it doesn't look like anything's happened, but just you wait, just you wait. Pro tip, you're gonna wanna put a piece of wood underneath your cutting board. This is gonna protect your surface when the heat's applied. So I've chosen a nice thick piece of scrap wood and I'm just gonna slide it under the cutting board. So I've got my heat gun ready and I'm gonna go over my surface. Couple things to remember, you don't wanna get too close to your surface. Uh, you wanna constantly be moving the heat gun around. You don't wanna keep it in one spot for too long. And that's about it. Isn't that awesome? Now, I did still run into some bleed marks, so I'll have to try and figure out some new tips to avoid that. I was able to correct the problem by applying some clear gloss spray over the wood before I put the stencil and the ammonium application over top. This worked amazing. Now, just bear with me here. I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna just quickly do two more projects and show you the difference between the crisp lines I got with the clear gloss spray and the bleeding I got using no clear gloss spray. So crisp. Okay, so here's the bleed mark piece. And here's the difference between the cookies I did with the clear gloss spray and using no clear gloss. As you can see, it's much more detailed. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. And if you did, make sure you follow along for more.